Eliza arched her eyebrows, leaned forward and spoke in a whisper that could etch glass. Don't speak of her that way. Sophie is none other than the daughter of the Winter Queen herself. She is the Duchess of Hanover. Jesus! How'd a man like the Doctor end up in such company? Sophie inherited the Doctor when her brother-in-law died. What do you mean by that? Is he a slave? He's a librarian. Sophie's brother-in-law hired him in that capacity, and when he died, Sophie inherited the library and the Doctor along with it. Well, that's not good enough. The Doctor has ambitions. He wants to be the Emperor's librarian. As it is now, a savant in Leipzig may never become aware of a book that's been published in Mainz, and so the world of letters is fragmented and incoherent, not like in England, where all the savants know each other and belong to the same society. What? A Joxeria wants to make things more like England? The doctor proposed to the emperor that a new decree be drawn up, ordering that all booksellers at the Leipzig and Frankfurt fairs must write up a description of every book they publish and send these along with copies of each book to... Let me guess. To their doctor. Yes. And then he would make them all part of some vast, hard-to-understand thing he wants to build. He couldn't restrain himself from breaking into Latin here, so I don't know exactly. Part library, part academy, part machine. Machine? Jack was imagining a mill wheel assembled from books. Eliza, how'd you get from Barbary to Vienna? Some parts of the story are too sad for me to tell. Others too tedious to hear. Suffice it to say that when I reached an age that a horny moor construes as adulthood, I came in their minds to bear the same relationship to my mother as a dividend does to a joint stock corporation, viz. a new piece of wealth created out of the normal functioning of the old. I was liquidated. What? Tendered to a wazir in Constantinople as part of a trade, no different from the trades that sustain the city of Leipzig. You see, a person can also be rendered into a few drops of mercury, and combined with the mysterious international flow of that substance. You've put hours into improving your mind, with nothing to show for it. I'd hoped you'd gotten financial backing out the doctor, or that Sophie. Eliza laughed. I've told you over and over that I never came within a half mile of Sophie. The doctor let me climb a church steeple that looks down over Herrenhausen, her great garden, so that I could watch while she went out for one of her walks. That's as close as someone like me could ever come to someone like her. Why bother, then? It was enough for me simply to lay eyes on her, the daughter of the Winter Queen and great-granddaughter of Mary, Queen of Scots. You would never understand. It's just that you're always on about money, and I cannot see how staring at some bitch in a French dress from a mile away relates to that. Hanover is a poor country anyway. It's not as if they have much money to gamble on our endeavours. Oh, if that's poverty, give me some. Why do you think the doctor is going through such exertions to find investors for the silver mine? Thank you. You've brought me back to my question. What does the doctor want? To translate all human knowledge into a new philosophical language consisting of numbers. To write it down in a vast encyclopedia that would be a sort of machine, not only for finding out old knowledge, but for making new by carrying out certain logical operations on those numbers, and to employ all of this in a great project of bringing religious conflict to an end and raising vagabonds up out of squalor and liberating their potential energy, whatever that means.